This is Andre Walker with GeorgiaUnfiltered.com. The third edition of Tomorrow World, the three-day music festival held at Bucart's Farm, is right around the corner. Preparations are now underway in Chattahoochee Hills, and the city council was briefed by the police and fire chief about how they are readying the small Georgia town for the thousands of people making their way to the festival grounds at the end of September. So what we've done is we've actually contacted one of our partners in Union City. Um, so we're going to have a large contingent of officers from our department as well as Union City and a few other departments in the area. They're going to be coming in to help assist with traffic and parking, crime suppression in the festival and things like that so that the festival goers have a good experience. Now, you, since you mentioned crime suppression, I know last year there were a lot of complaints that uh, there was uh, theft uh, in the campgrounds. Uh, how active will Chat Hills PD be in patrolling those campgrounds to prevent that? Obviously, I can't give you the specific numbers, but we will have officers actually inside the campground, um, some in uniform, some not in uniform. We will have roving patrols that go on. A lot of what we're trying to do is to get a high visual impact to, uh, to hopefully gain voluntary compliance. Um, if not, of course, we can always levy our criminal charges like we need to, but we'd really like for everybody to feel like they can be safe, but they also need to remember that they need to keep their valuables on, under lock and key and to be cognizant of where they are in the festival. Um, one of the other things that we're doing, we'll have a kiosk in the festival, so we'll have a little bit of a vis visible presence there where if something does happen, that they will actually have a little kiosk they can go to to actually get a police officer or speak to somebody with the department. You've got a small fire department, but I noticed during the city council meeting you said that uh, fire, uh, firefighters would still be stationed there for anybody who needs them in the city. So how are you managing to pull that off? Well, so we have a, a, a fairly deep roster of personnel that uh, work for us uh, part-time. And so we bring them in to almost uh, emulate a full-time status. So while some individuals will make up a on-site fire and rescue response team within the Tomorrow World venue, uh, we will have our regularly assigned shift personnel for A, B, and C shift uh, supplemented with some of our part-time personnel. So uh, we anticipate five individuals comprising a response team within Tomorrow World and another four to five individuals within our station who are handling our normal territory response. And then myself involved too, but I'm really not tied to either one. I'm just swing wherever needed. For GeorgiaUnfiltered.com, I'm Andre Walker.